What is up beautiful people? My name is Rav. If you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today I'm doing something a little bit different. I want to try to get on a weekly schedule at least one video. So I'm doing what I've been wanting to do for God, a couple of months now. Just never had the right things come together. But I think it's come together today. So I'm going to be doing a segment on Tuesdays that I call Real Talk Tuesday. Yeah, Real Talk Tuesday, where I just talk about van life and things I like about van life, maybe things I don't like about van life. And the main thing is I just want to keep it short and sweet, try to keep it around five to seven minutes max. So to give you guys an idea, this video shouldn't last any more than 10 minutes for sure. Sometimes I'm pretty long, I'm, who am I kidding? I'm always pretty long winded when I start talking, but I'm really going to try to keep it short and sweet today for Real Talk Tuesday. So every Tuesday from now on, if I'm in a situation where I have internet and I can, I'm going to try to do a little short talking video that I'm going to be putting in its own category. So if you're looking for my vlog videos with drone footage and all that, this is not going to be one of those. So you know now, if you don't want to hear me talk, you can just tune out. It's not going to hurt my feelings. But before you tune out, be sure to click that, like, that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe because there's going to be some cool vlogs coming up in the future. Anyway. To Real Talk Tuesday. I want to touch base today on a thing that I've been thinking about a little bit <clears throat> since I've been hanging out with my good friend Noah. And you will you will have seen Noah in my last video. We did a tour of his toy hauler. I'll try to link that down below in the description, maybe up here. Anyway, to that video that we did, or it'll be at the end of this one maybe. So anyway, uh, we did a a tour of his toy hauler and since I've been hanging out and working with Noah on some projects and stuff he has basically given me a spot here in his driveway while I'm working with him or while we're collaborating and so I've been parked here I'm hooked up to electricity I have access to water and everything and I just want to say that you know it's the same thing if I'm staying in an RV park and one of the major differences from when I am urban camping, boondocking, whatever you want it, street parking, whatever you want to label that as, there's a thing about being able to park in a driveway like this or an RV park or something that is very comforting because you do feel safe. You feel like you're not having that anxiety of somebody knocking on your door. Uh, recently, I stayed at a Walmart that I'd stayed at before and when I pulled up into the Walmart, there were no other RVs there. And it's a local LA Walmart that I'd stayed in before. They do have overnight parking signs, but one of the apps that I used said that they allowed overnight parking. So the first time, I've stayed there three times now, the first two times, but I alternate out of there. I don't stay more than 24 hours. The first two times that I went there, I pulled in, there were other RVs there. The second time I went there, there looked the same RVs were there so it looked like they were long term in that parking lot because there was a week that went by and I went back and the same two RVs are there and one looked like a couple living in a tr pickup camper with on the back of a pickup and they had another car that they were commuting out and coming back so that was a red flag because I was like oh no people are living in this parking lot so I went back about a week ago and I pulled in there about 12 a.m. and nobody was there the parking lot was vacant and i was pulled in like at 12 a.m uh this walmart is not a 24-hour super walmart it's a super walmart but it closes at 11. parking lot was barren there were cars up closer to the walmart which i figured were employee cars but as far as out in the parking lot there were no cars really and so i got paranoid so i just decided to sit there because i didn't i did need to get supplies and that's where i'm heading now i'm going back there because i need to get supplies again um, but I just sat there and, uh, got on my phone and thought, well, you know, I'm wide awake. I'll just sit here until probably like five or six. It's 12 now. And just make sure, see what the, see what goes on, see what happens. And over the next four or five hours, other people did straggle in in cars. Uh, people living in their cars. They struggled in. There was probably about four cars pulled in. They put all their reflectics up or their blankets or whatever over their windows and they crashed out. 
four o'clock in the morning, a city police officer comes around in his little SUV. And he comes to me first. And I was like, oh boy, here we go. And uh, he comes flying through the parking lot straight to my rig because I'm the only RV in the parking lot. Luckily, I was sitting in my driver's seat on my phone. So he pulled up, took my license plates, waved, or I waved at him, and he just gave me a dirty look and drove off. And so I sat there and watched him, and he basically went around to every other vehicle that had pulled in and took their license plate and run their license plate. So that kind of freaked me out. I stayed there uh, and just stayed awake until daylight, and then I went in and actually ate breakfast at the little McDonald's they had in the Walmart. And then I got out there, went and did shopping, bought about $50 worth of groceries and supplies. Come back, there was a security guard. And the security guard actually saw me unloading my basket, putting my stuff in the RV, and he waved at me. And, you know, and, and he had came around to see, and he waved at me, and I waved back. And I went and put my basket back in the return thing. And so he seemed like he was happy. And then I got buttoned up and, and got out of there. But I just wanted to say that, you know, one thing about urban camping or city dwelling full time is there does come an, an, an anxiety that maybe I have not touched on before. I've talked about staying in Walmart parking lots and different places and street parking. But anytime you street park, there's always when you lay down to go to sleep, there's always an element, I think, of anxiety that still to this day has not left. Uh, because you, you just never know if somebody's going to be knocking. I can tell you, um, before I came back to Noah's here, after I left the Walmart, I ended up staying on a street in a little um, commercial district. I keep saying, uh, in a little commercial district. And it seemed like it was pretty vacant. And I parked by this hot tub place. And I woke up the next morning blocked in because I was parked on a city street, but right in the back where their warehouse was. So they had a forklift going in and out, and they were dropping long trailers with hot tub supplies. So they basically blocked me in because I was in their way. So I literally had to wait about two or three hours and uh, before they moved everything enough to where I could get myself and get out of there. So. I just wanted to touch base on that. Um, it's not something that should deter you from van life if you're wanting to do van life. It's just one of those things that we have to deal with. And um, it kind of sucks sometimes. But when you can get into a free camping spot or like I can get into my buddy Noah's driveway right here. All that anxiety is lifted and you just want to I just want to rest and relax and enjoy it because I know I'm moving. I'm having to drive. I'm having to scope out spots and find different spots to stay overnight at different places when I'm not in a safe drive at driveway, an RV park, or a paid parking space somewhere that I might pay for for the night. So anyway, I just wanted to touch base on that for you guys. If you have any questions, that's what I want this to be. Uh, ask me all the questions you want. If you have a topic for next week's Real Talk Tuesday, let me know what that is, and uh, maybe we'll hit that topic next week. If you have any questions about full life, van life, camper van life, anything like that, leave me comments below, believe it or not. I go through every single comment. I read them. I do try to reply, but I do read all of my comments. I try to stay on top of that. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. And remember, guys, if you can't be good, at least be good at it. See ya!